Imagine that there's a company which sells everything from cigarettes to hotel stays to clothes to Tata to deodorants and much more. The company has been operating for more than 100 years and is a household name with over 25 plus brands. And the company's revenue has gone up from 44,000 crores in 2017 all the way to 51,000 crores by financial year 2021 with the net profit growing from 10,000 crores to 13,000 crores. Now my question is, will you invest in this company? Now if your answer is yes, then I would like you to think twice. Although the company's revenue and profit has been going up, the stock price isn't. The company has given negligible returns in the last five years, even though the company is profitable, the profit is growing and the revenue is growing. And that's the company that we'll be analyzing today. To understand how the company is growing and why investors are not confident in this company. So let's start. Hi everyone, this is Gaurav Ganchandani and welcome to episode 3 of Know Your Company series. This is a series where we deep dive into companies to understand how do they work, how do they function, how do they make money, what are the segments they deal in, who is their competition, what is the competition up to, their hiring practices and much more. The company that we'll be talking about in this episode is ITC Limited. Now, this entire video will be divided into 5 parts. We'll start right off from introduction, learn some basics about the company, see their financials, then we'll jump right into their business model. How do they make money? What are the segments the company deals in? Then we'll look at the competition. Who are they competing with and what is the competition up to? Fourth, we'll jump into hiring practices to understand how you can work with ITC. And the fifth part is controversies and criticism. We will understand some of the controversies and criticism around the company. So let's start. ITC has a diversified business presence across segments like cigarettes, FMCG, agribusiness, hotels, and paper and packaging. They own some of the iconic brands like Classmate, Bingo, Yippie, Sunfeast, Ashirwat, Engage, Vivel, Will's Lifestyle and many more. They also own and operate more than 10 plus cigarette brands in India. Now the company was started way back in 1910 as the Imperial Tobacco Company, which later got renamed to Indian Tobacco Company in 1970. And then once again in 1997, the company renamed itself as ITC Limited. Now, when the company was started, the major focus was the tobacco and cigarette business. But eventually, in 1925, they entered into printing and packaging as a strategic backward integration. By 1970s, the company started focusing to other segments and looking where to expand next. And in 1975, the company entered their hotel business. And now, ITC manages multiple properties internationally and domestically. In 1979, the company entered into the paper boats business. And by 1990s, ITC forayed into agribusiness, that is exporting agriculture commodities. Now, till 90s, the business was majorly focused on cigarettes, paper and printing, and agribusiness. But 2000 brought the most growth, as ITC started focusing on FMCG and retail. Now, in 2000, they launched Wills, stepping foot in the lifestyle retail business, along with launching IT that is ITC Infotech Limited. By 2001 and 2, they launched their packaged food brands, agarbattis and stationery products. After getting some experience in the FMCG market, they expanded the portfolio to personal care by building brands like Essenza D. Wills, Fiamma, Vivel, Superia, Engage and many more. If you follow the company closely, you know that ITC has been aggressively trying to expand their FMCG business. Now, apart from building their own brands, they have been acquiring a lot of businesses in the last few years. For example, in 2014, they acquired B Naturals to enter the packaged juice market in India. And in 2015, they acquired brands like Savlon and Shower Do Shower from Johnson & Johnson. And recently, in 2020, they acquired spice manufacturer Sunrise Foods for 2,150 crores. All of this, along with building their own brands, has led to the phenomenal growth of FMCG business of ITC. Now, let's look at some of the financials of the company. According to the latest report, the company has a turnover of more than 51,000 crores with a net profit margin of 27%. But the company's revenue hasn't grown since financial year 2020 to financial year 2021, majorly due to the COVID-19 pandemic. But apart from this, the company has more than 26,000 employees, 25 plus brands, a network of 6 million plus stores across India, and the company exports to more than 100 countries. 
Currently, the MD and the chairman of the company is Sanjeev Puri, who plans to take ITC's FMCG business to 1 lakh crore by 2030. Now, ITC is also part of Forbes 2000 list, and ITC's brand Savlon became the first Indian brand to win the Grand Prix for creative effectiveness at Cannes Lions 2018. Now that we have covered the basics, let's see their business model. ITC has multiple business segments like cigarettes, FMCG, hotels, agribusiness, paper and printing and many more. Now each segment has a different business model. So first let's have a look at the different segments that ITC deals in. In case of FMCG business, ITC manufactures consumer goods which gets delivered to distributors. These distributors acts as a hub and then further deliver the product to retail stores. These are the stores from where you and I go buy the products. So the Kirana shop near your home is an example of a retail store. Both the distributor and the retailer makes a small margin on each product sold and the rest is passed to ITC and that's how the FMCG business makes money. The education and stationery business is same as the FMCG business. What ITC has done is ITC has leveraged their paper and printing expertise to build market leader brands in stationery like Classmate and Papercraft. The business model of making money is same as FMCG, manufacture and then sell these products. Now if we look at their hotel business, then ITC has four different hotel brands and they are Most of these hotels are under franchisee agreement to operate as a part of the luxury collection of Marriott International. Now, during the pandemic, the entire hotel industry took a massive hit, but it's now recovering. So what is ITC doing? Well, ITC is trying to re restructure the entire hotel business. They are moving from own properties to managed properties. They're using an asset right strategy to increase the inventory of their managed properties. The company said that in the next few years, 75% of all the new inventory, that is new hotels that will be added, will be managed properties. Now moving on, the paper boats, paper and packaging business deals in manufacturing and selling of variety of papers. Papers like cigarette papers, FMCG cartons, electrical insulation papers, decorative laminate bases, writing papers and much more. If you want to see the entire product range, here it is. Under agribusiness, ITC focuses on exports and domestic trading of agriculture products. Products like these. These products are either exported outside India or are used by ITC itself for their brands like ITC MasterChef, Ashirwad Data, and many more. By the way, did you know that ITC is the second largest exporter of agri products in India and the fifth largest exporter of tobacco in the world? Now before we jump into the next section, let's look at ITC's revenue segment wise. If we analyze the company's revenue, we can see that the major issue is over dependence on the cigarette business. Even now, as per financial year 2020, 84% of the EBITDA comes from the cigarette business. With rise in taxes on cigarettes and little to no growth in the volumes of cigarettes, investors are worried. And that's why investors are not so confident in ITC as a stock. Although I can say the company is trying very hard to expand their FMCG business to decrease the reliance and dependence on the cigarette business. But it's a long way to go. Now, if we look at the stock performance of ITC, we can see that the stock has hardly moved in the last five years. Not only that, the stock has underperformed the index in the last 10 years. But all hope is not lost. The company is taking a lot of decisions to revamp itself. That is expanding into FMCG, restructuring the hotel business and much more. Time will tell what happens with ITC. For now, let's jump into the next section. ITC is competing with different companies across different segments within FMCG. For example, uh, in case of biscuits, ITC is competing with Parley and Britannia. In case of coffee and instant noodles, ITC is competing with Nestle. And in case of snacks, ITC is competing with PepsiCo. Now, if we were to create a list of all the competition across all of the segments, this is what the list will look like for FMCG.
the competition for their hotel business looks like this. And similarly, the competition for the cigarette business is as follows. Some competition happens behind closed doors, away from the public side. But some competition happens in public forum for everyone to see. One such competition or tussle happened in 2018 between Bean Naturals and Tropicana and Dream. Bean Naturals, the juice brand by ITC, took on billboards and print ads directly calling out their competitions, Tropicana and Dream, owned by PepsiCo and Dabur. The ad extended an invitation to PepsiCo and Dabur to abandon fruit concentrates used in juices as B Naturals was trying to position itself as a healthier alternative. What happened? Well, PepsiCo took this matter to the court and the ads got suspended. And eventually, ITC agreed to remove all the references to PepsiCo in their ads. Another such battle happened over product packaging between ITC and Britannia. In 2016, ITC took Britannia to the court, alleging that Britannia's Nutri-Choice Zero was a copy of Sunfeast farm light digestive biscuits. Then in 2020, Britannia took ITC to court, alleging infringement of product packaging, where Britannia said that ITC's newly launched Sunfeast Veda Digestive and Sunfeast 5C Digestive are deceptively similar to Britannia's Nutri-Choice High Fiber Packaging. Finally, ITC had to change its packaging. Lastly, one more battle was there which lasted seven years, the trademark battle between ITC and Nestle. Or I can say Yippie versus Maggie. ITC filed a case on Nestle for trademark infringement. ITC has been using the expression magic masala for their brand Yippie since 2010. And Maggie or Nestle started using the expression magical masala for their brand in 2013. This led to a seven year long battle for trademark infringement. Finally, the case got closed, where the judge found the words used to be completely distinctive without any scope of confusion between them. So these were three of the famous battles that happened in the public eye. Now, let's move to the next section to figure out how you can get to work with ITC. ITC conducts Interobank at different campuses, which is a fun learning event where students get to interact with leaders, and know more about the company, experience masterclasses by ITC leaders and be part of different challenges. The campus winner of the challenge gets cash prizes along with PPS pre-placement interviews. So if you are a B-School student and Interobank is open for your campus, make sure you participate. Now ITC also has something known as KITES, which is Knowledge, Initiative and Talent Excellence Series, which is ITC's summer internship program for top premier management and technology campuses in India, where projects are carefully selected to offer interns an experience of real business problems in their chosen domains. Now, once you are shortlisted and sitting for an interview for ITC, it's important to know what they are looking for. Now, ITC has some core values. These are, If you can demonstrate these skills or values, it will go a long way making your case in front of the interviewer. But please note, these are not the only competencies or values ITC is looking for. There may be more. Now, to make you ready for these roles, Inside IAM and Altuni has something special for you. Marketing Career Prep, a program that will help you learn marketing concepts and get a 360 degree marketing knowledge. The program is built by alumni of Inseed, IAM Lucknow, SPJ and many more. You'll also get to work on live projects and learn deep industry insights. You'll also get to learn marketing concepts like digital marketing, FMCG marketing, marketing analytics, and much more. So if you're interested in the program, I'll leave the link below. You can check it out. Lastly, here's a bonus section for you. Now let's see some of the interesting initiatives by ITC. E-Chopal is an initiative started by ITC, where they have set up internet kiosk to help farmers by providing them information like weather, agri practices, mandi prices, etc. Plus, farmers can order products like seeds, fertilizer, and even negotiate sales of their products with ITC. This initiative has been running since 20 plus years now. Another cool initiative is the Mangaldeep Devotion app, 
This app is by ITC's brand Mangaldeep which makes Agarbatti and Dhoop. The app is one stop solution to listen to popular devotional songs, learn pujas, discover nearby temples and much more. The app has more than 1 million downloads. Another new thing started by ITC is ITC Store. Now during the pandemic ITC launched their own e-store. The store sells ITC products across all categories. The e-store also launched subscriptions to join the likes of Geomart and Big Basket. Now it's time to jump in the last section controversies and criticism. One of the biggest criticisms of ITC is the tobacco advertisements. ITC in past have done a lot of indirect advertisements to promote their tobacco products after the advertising ban by government of India. Ads like illegal display of billboards and posters, camouflaging tobacco marketing products by coupling it with other products, misleading retailers to display tobacco advertisements near their shop and many more. Recently, ITC brand Bingo was under some heat. One of their ads faced a lot of social media backlash. The ad was featuring Ranveer Singh and some people felt that the ad was mocking late actor Sushant Singh Rajput. Now these were some of the controversies and criticism around the company. I hope you liked the analysis. To help you further, I list down more resources like additional videos, interviews, articles and I'll put all the links in the description below for you to see. If you enjoyed the video till here, make sure to drop us a like and subscribe to see more such content. Also, do let me know in the comment section below what other companies you would want me to cover next. This is Gaurav Gyanchanani and I'll see you in the next video.